the rotate command rotates objects in your drawing independently of the rest of the drawing, while the scale command changes the sizes of objects. Sometimes they can be tricky to use, so I'll show you how they work. You access the rotate command here on the ribbon. Click the button and then cast your eyes down on the command bar. It asks you to select objects. I'm going to select this blue square, press enter to continue, and then the command asks me to specify a base point. The base point is a, the point around which the objects will rotate. So I'll show you a couple of examples of that. First time I'm going to click here at the corner of the square. The command prompt asks me to specify rotation angle or I can just move the cursor to show the angle and as you can see it rotates around the base point. Let me repeat the command and this time I'll specify base point roughly in the center of the square and now when I rotate it you see it rotates about the center. You can move the cursor to approximate the angle or you can enter in at the command prompt a specific rotation angle. So let me put in negative 30 and that rotates the square 30 degrees clockwise. Let me undo that, repeat the command, and this time enter in a value of plus 45 degrees. And this time it rotates counterclockwise by 45 degrees. The rotate command has a couple of options in it that I want to show you now. So I've restarted the command and I'll choose again this as the base point. If you look down at the command prompt you'll see that there's two options there. Copy and reference angle. The copy option makes a copy of what you're rotating. So I'll enter in C to make the copy and then it wants the angle and once again I'll put in that negative 30. And there you can see the original and the copy. The reference option is kind of tricky to figure out and so watch carefully as I move along. So I select this blue square for rotating again and I'm going to make this the base point and now it asks for the reference angle option. So I type R and press enter and it supplies the reference angle. So I'm just going to uh, click at the other end of this square. That's the reference and now it asks for the new angle and one of the ways to specify the new angle is through points and the points option is very very handy so I have to type P and now I'm going to specify the first point which is this top of this gray line click there and click at the other end to specify the angle the square is rotated by the same angle as that line this makes it very helpful for aligning say scanned images to existing drawings one final tip when it comes to the rotate command. If you turn on the ortho mode here on the status bar, you'll see that they rotate in precise 90 degree increments. That can be kind of handy sometimes. The scale command operates similarly to the rotate command. You select objects, you pick a base point, and then you specify the scale factor. You find the scale command on the ribbon, right here. After clicking the scale button on the toolbar, look down at the command prompt to see what you need to do. Just like with the rotate command, you select objects, press enter to continue, and specify a base point. Once again, I'll start in the lower corner here. Now you could do the same thing, moving the cursor or specify a scale factor. I find it much better to specify a scale factor, so I'll enter in two, and the object is twice as large. I'll undo the command, repeat it, and this time I'll enter in a scale factor that's smaller than 1, for example 0.5. So you see that shrinks the object. Repeating the command and looking at the command prompt, you can see that there's the copy option. So I've entered the C and now I'll put in the 0.5. The old square remains. The reference length, type in R, specify the reference length. So I'll pick these two points, the new length. I'll use the points option to pick these two points. And the square is scaled. Keep in mind that it's being scaled from the base point, which is down here. Let me give you a bonus tip on how to draw at an angle using the UCS. So you can see the, the gray rectangle is at an angle. If I want to be able to draw orthogonally relative to it, I enter in the UCS command and then I enter in Z. That's because I'm going to rotate the drawing around the Z axis. 
and an angle. I already know that the angle is 15 degrees, so I'll enter that. And now you can see that the UCS row has rotated. Now if I draw a line and have the ortho command turned on, so let me start here. And now when I'm drawing orthogonally, you'll see that it's actually at 15 degrees to what was before. And that's how you can rotate the entire drawing when you need to be able to draw consistently at an angle.